I know this is going to make you mad, but I have to ask you this question. Do the Browns need to hire a coach for Baker Mayfield or for the Browns as a team? No, and, and that's the, the whole thing. I mean, you need to get somebody that can connect this football team. Right. And you talk about John Dorsey. Well, he's got to have a connection there. He's got to connect with this locker room. Here's the problem with, with the, uh, the Browns. We talk about they're, they're incredibly talented. I mean, th this talent is, is it probably is, is the most talented team in the National Football League. But here's what they did. They played as individuals. You've got to get them to play like this. That's the job of a coach. He's got to be that kind of connector. One thing I know about the Browns situation, you have probably the number one fan base in the National mm -hmm. Football League. I mean, they are amazing. They deserve a hell of a lot better than you've given them. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so, to me, it's like you've got to get in here and everybody's going to talk about, oh, this is seven coaches, this is whatever. This move had to be made. Yeah. So you you got to praise the owner for doing it. I mean, Freddie Kitchens had like four years left on a uh, yeah. contract. He said, forget about he it. He was the wrong guy for the job from the start, Freddie Kitchen was. And I'll, I'll defend him a little bit in that they spent several years tanking and decimating the culture on that team by essentially telling them, you don't matter and this season doesn't matter. And they expect Freddie Kitchens to come in and fix it just with a wave of a magic wand. I don't think he was right for the job, but I think the guy that they should go after going forward is Jim Caldwell. He's mm. a guy who has experience and like going it. to, you know him quite well, you no play doubt. for him. Going into the Lions, a Midwest organization that was kind of perpetually terrible and making them a good playoff competitive team. I think he's someone who they will respect. He is an adult. He'll sweep up all the cereal and he'll put those guys, he'll get those guys um, preparing and playing as well as they possibly can. I mean, I love the Coach Caldwell thing. Three things for me when it comes to the Browns. One, don't fall into the trap that you did last year of making your hire strictly about Baker Mayfield, even though his performance fell off this year. Two, the next head coach of the Browns needs to get Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry and Miles Garrett to understand that the details of how they do things is significantly more important than their talent. He needs to get those guys to believe that that matters because right, right now they're just a bunch of players who think we're super talented and that's going to carry us. What head coach can do that? I'm going to throw a name out there, Jack throw Del Rio. Oh. Look at, look at where the teams what, – what, what's Jacksonville doing? How's Oakland doing since yeah. they fired or moved on oh. from Del Rio? Del Rio is a coach that understands, hey, this is our standard. I mean, if you're going to name somebody who works for us, I'd say Rex Ryan. This is our – Rex, Rex Ryan. Oh, oh, my sure. Sure. Oh, my okay. win but you got to yeah. yeah. equip game, those guys. Yeah. Like, when you set your standard, you got to understand that different players need different tools to get to that right. same standard Here's what level. you got to get. A head coach has to be a head coach. He's got to connect the entire right. football team. Sure. And, and you mentioned it. they got to be team guys. Yeah. Yeah. you got a great individuals. Odell Beckham, Jarvis Lane. They're great team guys. They should be. you gotta, you got to bring them in. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.